Beauty World and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a Distress Resist Ink Spray Technique on a Bristol White Smooth Watercolour Paper, not watercolour paper, Bristol Smooth Paper. And I'm going to do two different effects using two cardstocks here. For the first one, I'm using the Distress Spray directly onto um, the cardstock that I have decided to use. And I'm using this stencil from Pretty Pink Posh called the wave stencil and adhering it to the white cardstock and placing it onto a copy paper to protect my work surface. Now this wrist spray can be a, can be really sticky and it does adhere to your surfaces pretty well. So make sure you are protecting and cleaning up your stencils as soon as you're done using the spray. After I was done and heat setting the rest of the spray, I was ready to do some watercoloring. And for watercoloring, I used Distress inks in four different shades, two in blue, one in aqua and one in purple to do some watercoloring over this paper. Now you can see as I'm layering the watercolor, the resist that I earlier sprayed, the distress resist, is resisting that water and that is what is so beautiful about spray and you can really use it in so many different ways. You can just put splatter and have white splatter underneath, you can put st over stencils, I mean it, you can really do a lot with it. Maybe in future I'm gonna make a few more cards using this resist spray. And then I started layering it with this uh, watercolor. I layered a layer of watercolor and then I dried it, heat set it, and then again um, did the same colors over it. And I did it multiple times until I got this darker shade of watercolor that I wanted. And when I was happy, I was ready to move on. And I just cleaned the surface so that I took away all the water color that was on top of the resist so you can see how bright and white those waves are. For the second one, instead of putting the resist spray first, I decided to do a light wash of the same color onto my Bristol White Smooth Paper. What it does is, when I lay the resist spray on it and then I do the second layer of watercolor on it, the bottom layer will have a, will have a really light shade of these colors picking out so it won't be as stark white as the previous one so here I am layering the first layer now after I was done layering the first layer I heat set this layer and then I put the uh, pretty pink posh stencil on it again and did the same thing again I applied it I sprayed the rest of spray on top of it heat set that and I was ready to add the second and the third layer of watercolor on top of this and I, and, and I went on and on until I was happy with the colors that I chose like the vibrancy of the colors I chose and uh, um, and, and again it's it's just loose watercoloring you, you don't have to be precise you just want to make sure that you're placing similar colors onto the cardstock otherwise it would get muddy and then when I was all done I cleaned the surface and you can see how uh, subtle the waves look than the other one on the right. That's a basic difference between the two. Then I took this uh, sparkly spray and I sprayed it over both the surfaces to give them some shimmer and shine. Um, and then I decided to take the Simon Says Never Quit Swimming stem set and uh, I took three different, two different uh, stamps from it, the dolphin and the crab and I stamped it using a Copic friendly black ink and I did some water, I'm not sorry, not water coloring, some Copic coloring on it. For the dolphin itself, I used a very warm shades of color. So I used W5, W3, W1 and W0 and did very basic, basic coloring. I didn't do a lot of shading or a lot of technique on the water, on the copy coloring but just kept it very simple because I really wanted to keep the focus on the on the vibrancy and the technique of the card that was the resist technique versus other elements while the elements do add to that technique that we did earlier. After I was done with the crab, uh, the dolphin, I went with the crab and I used some corally shades of red to do the crabs. I, it was R5, R05, R14 and R17 for the crabs. And then I fussy cut the, um, the elements using my scissors. Then I took one of those panels and I 
cut the waves like I, I I cut it right around the waves so that I had three four different panels or waves that I could use on my cardstock and I took a top folding white cardstock and I layered those waves on it so when I layered them I layered them using two different things one was craft clue and the other one was some foam adhesives so I so that I could show different layers of water so this water always almost looks like you're looking from the top on the surface um, and it's it's bright you know when you look from the top the water is always very bright and clear and um, and you can see the different shades of blues and stuff like that so that was my idea for this and I wanted the creatures uh, the sea creatures popping out of it the dolphin popping out of it and the crabs just having a little this is wobbling on the water up and down there you go I'm interiorizing the, and then I took this uh, sentiment stamp greeting mix one and I decided to use thinking of you initially but then I changed my plan and I went with a bigger uh, stamp set which said today will be awesome or you will be awesome something like that you'll see as soon as I'm done stamping here um, there you go and it says today will be awesome and I like that better and then I kept that aside as my first card for my second card now I I uh, heat embossed a jellyfish onto vellum and I fussy cut that too and then I took a white cardstock and cut th uh, four circles using just a basic circle die and I wanted to make this into a shaker window and then I adhered some foam tapes around each of the shaker win uh, windows and um, started to make a well and then I cut those pieces cut the distress watercolor pieces uh, into uh, cardstock into different pieces so that I could adhere them in the back of the window and use the sequence mix that I had in my stash I don't really remember what it's 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 a confetti mix into the smaller circles not on the larger one but only on the smaller circle sorry I didn't show you completing it and I added a sentiment from the same greeting mix saying thinking of you on it there you go and those are the two cards and I added some bling on it and that completed both the cards thank you for stopping hope to see you soon bye